Is going out during a winter storm warning a good idea? I think it is. Let's go. Well, at least you don't have to worry about any cars coming right now. Hopefully they delivered it before it got like this. Just a little bit further. Hopefully I don't shred out this camcorder. Yes, finally. Whew, the mail. Look at that car. It's frozen shut. Ah, uh, I walked out here for nothing. It's not here yet. Today is the day before Christmas and there's a snowstorm. Uh, almost home, almost home. Okay, we'll wait till tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, a few more days to check again. All right, try number two. This time in the dark. So instead of having to wait two more days for delivery, I had to wait three days. That's because Christmas was on Sunday, so they decided to just give the employees an extra day on Monday off. So yeah, that's really convenient for me having to wait one more day. Great. I'm not complaining if I work there, I would probably want it, but oh well. Also, I should say the tracking status still says it's not delivered yet, but in the past it's usually late, so I'm just hoping it's gonna be in there right now. Oh, car. Oh, look at this snowman. This carrot fell off. So yeah, right now I'm hoping it's in there. I'm just asking to be robbed or killed right now, doing it while it's dark. And of course it's not in here. Thanks, USPS. The walk of shame back to my house for the second time. As you can see here from this notification 12 minutes ago, it just got delivered. Seriously? If anything happens to me, please call the police and just show them the stream. This is the first time I actually use this Instagram streaming thing. They have one hardworking USPS driver who is willing to deliver packages at 9 p.m. All right, we're almost to the mailboxes right over there. Let's see if it's actually in here. The mailman just crabbed everything in, like how ang he was probably angry that he had to deliver everything at like 9 p.m. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna carry this. I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket for now. Filming with two cameras and holding a flashlight. So yeah, shout out to the USPS driver who was forced to work at nine. Almost home. Just a few more feet. Hey guys, so have you heard about the super popular Sony RX100? That super expensive camera that all the YouTubers have been talking about? I got one! Alright, fine. This is the budget version of that. Got this from eBay for $270, and I love how the next day after I bought this thing, there was a new listing that was $10 cheaper. I love eBay. It's the land of buyer's remorse. Mac only, apparently. No PC. Perfect for me. Let's unbox it. Hopefully I don't show my address. Yes, it's beautiful. manuals that can this come with? Wait, is it really asking me to apply for a credit card? Uh, what the heck? Oh wow, look how neatly packaged this is. Broken tag. Well, it did say open box on eBay. Uh, well, this was supposed to go on the camera. Glad they included that. Micro USB cable. Charging brick. Hmm, nice that they included one. The battery, hopefully it's brand new. And here's the camera. So, funny story, I was gonna buy the Canon G7X, the one that a lot of professional YouTubers want to use, but the price is way too high for that. I saw this thing at Best Buy, and I was thinking, hmm, this has a flip-up screen too, and it's cheaper, so I'm gonna get this instead. Insert the battery and turn it on. Hmm, I wonder if this has a charge. I should probably plug it in. Where did I throw that cable? Nice length, Sony. I have like 10 of these and that are longer. Now this is a better one. Oh, right here. I love this flip-up screen. Now let's turn it on. Hmm, I wonder if that's supposed to sound like that. 
I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that. It sounds like something dying. <laughs> and I know someone already turned it on because there's no setup screen. Wow, the zoom is really long. Oh, I have to put a card in. Hopefully this 16 gigabyte class 4 SD card works. It's a little bit slow, but hopefully I can still get away with 1080p video at 30 FPS. Okay, yeah, create a database. Yeah, and we're all set up. And it accepts it. One photo of my computer right now. Another one? One more. Probably just gonna tell people that this is the RX100. No one can really tell the difference too much. I do not have enough money to afford that. That's like a thousand dollars. Funny thing is that the RX100 is really popular. Like if you search the Sony RX100 on YouTube, you see a lot of videos from really big YouTubers talking about it. But if you search this model, the HX80, you see only like a little smaller YouTubers talking about it. No big YouTubers. So yeah, just wanted to give you a quick oversight and it can double use as a vlogging camera by doing that. Yep. Cheaper than a G7X, I think I'll be pretty happy with this. NFC, Wi-Fi, pop-up viewfinder, go down.